And for all of you who still want more, of course, we definitely still have one more, at least for today. It's uh, De La Salle University Green Archers going up against the University of the East. Red Warriors, welcome back. And surely we welcome all of you who are watching. My name is Benji Santiago, and joining me is uh, Coach Mike Perez, and of course, later on, and uh, Sarah will be joining us at courtside. And welcome, welcome, everybody. How's your Sunday afternoon? How so far is it going for you, Coach Mike? Hey, okay, naman. No? Uh, having to cover again another game in Phil Oil, and paganda ng paganda ang laban natin dito as we go. Yes, ito yan, ano? Kagaya nga ng binabanggit natin. Sunod-sunod na laro ito para sa De La Salle University Green Archers. The first of the, the actually the second na of the long mm -hmm. three-day schedule nila na sunod-sunod. And this time around, they're battling nga itong University of the East Red Warriors. Of course, ang University of the East ang, uh, Red Warriors, natalo sila in their previous game that mm -hmm. paved the way for FAU Tamaras to come up with their first win as we take a look at our team standings. Two and two ang kartada the new red warriors samantala and dela sal university green archers the only team eh, from these two groups that we have who have yet to taste defeat over at the other side of university perpetual demand and altas with their five and one win loss card seems like it's going to be uh, great to look forward to pagpasok ng ncaa naman para rito sa perpetual coach mike huh? yep and you know itong pagkakataon naman ng university of the east na subukan magbigay ng unang talo dito sa De La Salle Green Archers. Yun lagi yung tanong dyan eh. Sino? Uh, sino? <laughs> sino? Sino? Ang kukuha ng uh, magbibigay ng uh, unang talo against De La Salle University Green Archers. We saw them play yesterday. They mm -hmm. were down back in the first half. Pero yeah. what a comeback for them yeah. to come up victorious laban pa sa talagang uh, powerhouse din mm -hmm. na uh, UP Fighting Maroons. Kevin Kambao was, wow, one spectacular player. Yeah. Michael Phillips just got back from Cambodia, winning the gold back mm -hmm. for uh, the Philippines. So, see games. I don't think he's playing today. Yeah, but I don't think so, too. <laughs> Yun lang ang, uh, some of the things that most probably Sarah will uh, hand out some information about that. Now, over at the other side, the man para sa UE Red Warriors, what can we expect from them coming into this ball game? Well, definitely the three guys that's gonna need a lot of work and more continuous production para dito sa UE. You have Remogat, Jackson, and Paranda. Remogat's been averaging about 19 points, three rebounds, three assists, and a steal. He's expected to lead that team. But Jackson's has come out really strong, at least in the last two to three games that, that they've had, coming up with 12, 9, 3, and to go with three steel. So those two guys really are the people that we're gonna watch out for pagdating dito sa UE Red Warriors. And not only that, the common denominator between these two teams is that para dito sa UE Red Warriors, Coach Jack Santiago, that mm -hmm. then si Concejal uh -huh. Don Aliado. Yes. <laughs> eh, di ba? Dati ito, nandun sa mga pomare nito. Correct. For La Salle. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kahit pa paano, may bleed green pa rin yan sa loob. Totoo. No? <laughs> yun yun eh, no? Well, of course, si uh, Coach Topex Robinson na ang uh, new head coach yeah. sa pagpasok ng new season ng UAAP mm -hmm. for La Salle Green Archers. They truly have a lot of making up to do. Yeah. Not ending in the final four that's a previous season. But that see, things seems to be uh, looking very, very promising mm -hmm. para rito sa De La Salle. Well, puta na natin ngayon si Ryan to introduce our starters for this ball game. Good afternoon. Center number nine, Raymond Cortez. Point guard number five, DJ David. And shooting guard number 18, Francis Espandor. Head coach for the Telesagri Nachos is Tomex Robinson. And now uh, let's keep it up for you, UE Red Warriors. Small forward number eight, Jos Alcantara. Power forward number 66, Dave Thomas. 
All set and ready to do battle as we take a look at the starters for both teams right here. Noi Rimogat, we talked about him earlier para dito sa UA Red Warriors. Ngayon naman dito sa panig ng uh, De La Salle University, BJ David is starting. Juliana Skondor. And uh, itong si oh, Ben Phillips will be playing. Mm -hmm. I yeah. see. Para sa La Salle. And he'll starting. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. He did not see action yesterday. It was the other Phillips, si Michael. Yep, si Michael. Right. He turned out to be the best player in that ball game. So here we go. Ball at on and De La Salle University. The first foul is going to be called very early in this ball game as uh, Mark Rossetti went up for the shot block, but he clipped the arm of uh, Escandor, who will be taking two free throws here in this ball game. Well, to see Francis Escandor coming out of the basketball program down south in Davao. Uh, one of the coaches that actually taught him is Coach Ronel Loterio, who incidentally is one of the coaches of uh, Saint College of St. Benil when they won that championship mm. in 2000 under Coach Dong Vergere. So his formative years of basketball really coming from Coach Ronel Loterio. Two to nothing, and they got the ball back. Wanting to score once again. Now, all of a sudden, it's instantly, it's a 4 to nothing lead for the Green Archers. Goliana making that basket. It's UE right now. Way the basketball. Their first crack at the basket for themselves. So we take a look at Rosette, who picked up a foul earlier. Oh, look at the defense there of uh, LaSalle. Every movement covered there. Well, again, naman si Rosetti naman na nakabing with ng foul dito. Raven Cortez with a foul. And a chance for UE to get themselves on the scoreboard here. Hitting the first free throw. Uh, Raymark Rosette, uh, roughly getting about 15 minutes playing time per game, ravaging about five points, four rebounds, and one assist. So his contribution is going to be very key here for the Red, uh, Red Warriors. He knocks down both free throws. 4-2 lead for LaSalle. The three-pointer is off. And ball will go the other way. If I'm not mistaken, this is the second or the third game in a row that Kevin Kiambao is actually coming off the bench oh, oh, para tama, sa tama. De La Salle. So, nage experiment rin talaga yung mga iba't ibang teams pagdating sa rotations nila here in Phil Oil. Tsaka ikaw ba naman ang bigyan ng tatlong sunod-sunod na laro eh? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pahinga muna. <laughs> Pahinga ka sa umpisa lang. <laughs> right. <laughs> ah, but that jump hook just doesn't drop. For Rosette. For all right now. LaSalle wanting to grab back the lead here. Goliana on the way up. Too strong. Hard off the glass. He got an offensive rebound. Another hard off the glass attempt by Raven Cortez. But they still keep the basketball here for the Green Archers. Ben Phillips. Oh, oh wow. Ben Phillips. Nice read. But the defense was yeah, there. Rosette. Was there. Yeah, good recovery by the help on the low side after that short roll by Ben Phillips. Thought he had a good thing going, but all of a sudden, parang biglang may tumubo na puno right in yeah. front of him. Yeah. Was Mark Rosette. And LaSalle, for the most part, really full close out on, on the players, really staying attached to the guys. How about that banking shot? Well, Lingo Lingo. Ah, Lingo nga pala ngayon. Oh, Lingo ngayon. It's his right. day. A good move there by Lingo Lingo. 
Best opportunity to score for LaSalle. Ooh. Roy Remoga, nice wow. handoff. And Mark Rossetti underneath, responding very well to that assist. Well, you know, Remoga averaging about three assists per game. And the thing is, he also can score. He's got a good average of 19 points per game. Grabbing that rebound, UE. Law pass. Well, set at the focal point of the offense of UE here. Well, not really a good set for the Warriors on that spot. A miss under three. Well, unlike from what we have seen previously, yung Adamson kanina, hot shooting from the outside. Uh -huh. Simula pa lang, ha? Mm -hmm. This beautiful pass by Remoga, and I'm sure that's just one of the many assists we'll be seeing from this pitfire guard of Jack Santiago. Pressure in the backcourt being applied mm -hmm. by LaSalle. And that's been a trademark of LaSalle, actually. Oh, the money. Impressed na yan. Air ball with that shot from the outside. Ben Phillips is fouled after grabbing the loose ball. Mm -hmm. Day Thomas, ang tinawagin ng foul. Yeah, and, and Thomas didn't want to make Ben Phillips get that ball because he's going to get the ball the yung Lasal And in open floor, I mean, you've got multiple scorers out in the open there for uh, Lasal and just prevented that. You have quick transitions just like that. Mm -hmm. Just don't grab the player. Because it's sportsman Yeah, sportsman like, like, right? You have to go for the ball. Pa rin. You have to play on the ball. Oh, wow! <laughs> And Goliana getting his second basket here in this ball game. Oh, Look at this. Just sheer upper body power right there by Goliana. Guy averages about six points per game. Or at least he's got four right now. Yeah, and it's pretty solid too every time that he's brought in on the floor by uh, Coach Topex. And he converts and completes a three point play for De La Salle. And they're making someone else receive that inbound pass other than Remogat. 7 6. Mm -hmm. The shovel pass. And Velo Lingo Lingo again with a basket. Yeah. Four for him here in the first period. And Yui is ahead 8 7. And the ploy really here with Remogat uh, with that dish. For LaSalle, is, you know, that someone else bring that ball down other than Remogat. So that there's a delay in the offensive sets of the Warriors. LaSalle finding themselves down by one. Wow, what a set. Good and set. Extra pass there. But Ben yeah. Phillips. Uh, that play started off with a 1-4 low. Lumabas yung isang bigs. Nagkaroon ng stagger sa kabila. Middle ball screen. Ganda ng movement. Raven Cortez with his first basket for LaSalle. Now! How about the It's his day talaga. Yeah, Lingo Lingo's got seven points already <laughs> in this game. And he's feeling it, actually. Ito, Lingo Lingo. Naalala ko tuloy si Sunday Salvacion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lasal really making the Warriors eat up a little bit of time, but you got to check Remogat out in the open floor. No, Remogat, sabi niya mamaya na ako ulit papasa. Might as well score. Mm -hmm. So we got a CISO battle going on here with five minutes remaining here in the first quarter. It's UE on top by one. Very deceptive because yung mga movements rin ni Rimogat. Hindi mo lang kung papasa o titire. Oh! And that's three-pointer. That's Kandor hitting it. And that's going to be our first timeout in this ball game. Up and down, up and down. Kind of a roller coaster, but they've been hitting mm -hmm. those shots. Mm -hmm. Skandor hitting that three. They got back the lead up to 15 13.
Lasal against you. Yet hawak nga ng Green Archers ang kalamangan 15 to 13. Two teams from the same collegiate league, but are we going to witness a different result today? With the Green Archers having a clean record, for sure the Red Warriors won't back down kahit pa kulang sila dahil may mga injured nga at may sakit. Mainit na tapatan ito, isang nagahabol ng panalo at isang wala pang nakakatalo. Sigurado ako na walang bibitaw sa dalawang teams na to. Ano sa palagay niyo, Benji and Coach Mike? Well, we're still early to figure out nasa first quarter time. We saw, of course, sabi nga natin, see so battle that's mm -hmm. been happening right now. Lasal up to they're trying to create a turnover in this ensuing play here, but it's still going to stay with the Red Warriors. That's why it's easier said than done. Uh, again, especially Lasal. Look at the, the guys now on the floor. It, it it almost seems like young starters are coming off the bench. You know. Let's take a look at Coach Caloy Garcia, Coach Mon Jose, giving out special instructions to players from the bench. Another stop here. Referee's whistle halts mm -hmm. play. Well, if, if there's one good thing about the Red Warriors is that they're only down two points against the Green Archers. E.J. Abadama just checked in, commits his first personal. Noe Rimoga firing long distance, falls short. Asal Kevin Kembao is in the game, so is Mark Nonoy. Kembao lobs it inside. Bright Nwankwo with a miss. A good feed, though, by Kevin Kembao, sealing that, seeing that seal. By Bright. UE down by two. Noe Remog at the no look pass. <laughs> oh, Hulik, Kevin Kelbao. Where are you going with that basketball? So you're not making his presence felt, Kagan. Yeah, look at that. That role, Kevin was immediately locating that role guy. And that helped down low, just doing well for Kevin. He challenges a shot once again. You look at the spectrum of uh, spots defended by Kevin Kembao. Kanina sa ilalim, ngayon itong tumi-three points sa labas. No? Ang laki, <laughs> laki ng range ng binabantayan ni Kevin. And that just shows his versatility for the game. Oh, good shot. Really? And even better. Dahil ito nga, DJ Robles. Off the bench, scoring right away for Coach Jack Santiago and the UE Red Warriors. We got a tie ball game at 15. Sometimes holding on to an undefeated record will create a lot of pressure, will bring in a lot of pressure right. how to maintain that undefeated record. Ito naman UE Red Warriors. Sabi ko nga kanina, the common denominator here. This is a challenge for Coach Jack Santiago right, right. and Coach Don Aliado. Mm -hmm. Kumbaga, parang nalipat lang kami ng bahay. Diyan kami dati nakatira eh. Oh, at saka yung lipat na yun ng, you know, the bleed green players uh, there in the coaching staff of UE. It really shows yung ano, wealth of talent that's coming out of yes. the La Salle program. Kambao touch pass inside. Bright Ooh. scores! Kevin was actually talking to Bright and telling him, Hey, look. I'm going to give you another pass. Okay, uh, you have to make sure you make this one. But you're not getting a third one if you don't. But look at that beautiful finish there by Bright. Excellent feed too by Kevin. Hindi na binaba. Dinerecho. Pihit. Konti lang. Tsaka yung pihit niya papunta dun sa strong side niya. Which is the right hand. So Bright. And one core. is shooting the bonus free throw. Unable to make it though. Four point advantage. LaSalle, UE basketball. Alcantara setting it up. Air ball for DJ Robles. Yep, and LaSalle doing a different approach, approach here on the two man game. What they're doing now is they're trying to hedge instead of the previous game, Nila, where they normally would switch. So here they just try to hedge and make that uh, initial defender or primary defender recover. Wow. <laughs> Kevin Kiambao, Benji, is actually, what, 8 out of 11 on his last attempts coming from the previous game. 
Grabe. And those are right quarter court baskets that he made yesterday. Yeah. Dun siya nagpasimula eh. Yep. Yeah. Yung dalawang corner na threes, no? Sinimula niya ng corner. Tapos yun nga, pagdating ng second half, he did not run out of ammunition to mm -hmm. shoot mm -hmm. three-pointers. And inside, yeah. bright oh, again! Oh, oh. Nice pass, galing kay Mark Nonoy. Well, the archers are really ex uh, exploiting that void in the middle. Para dito sa Red Warriors. You know, the usual starters of LaSalle, they came off the bench. At ito na, lumayo na nga ang LaSalle rito. Although, mm -hmm. ito, Hilbuena mm -hmm. answers right back. The lead is seven. Earlier, it was nine already for LaSalle. Kiamau, uh -oh. same spot, uh -oh. same result. Well, that guy's made a living out of shooting three. He started that game with two triples. Now, he's also got two. Sa ibang spot naman, wings naman. Back to another 10-point lead here for LaSalle. Wow. So the Reliables really delivering, especially KKM. And they're really tightening up the screws on Remogat. And so the other players have to create for themselves. Look at this long pass. Nice receive. Nice oh. catch by Mike Nonoy. He sees everything that's happening on the floor. Yeah, Kevin Kambao is actually five assists per game on the average. Kapon di masyado, you know? Was yeah. con contented with shooting, yeah. with scoring. And what's even amazing there, Benji, with Kevin, as we see the shot uh, let go by the Red Warriors, that Kevin Kambao. Is actually number four league wide on assists. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, oh, oh. Three of three! My God! Jamal Murray earlier was just sensational on three. But Kevin Kambao, woo! And still trying to figure out what he had for breakfast. The same question we were asking wow. yesterday when he was actually, with that accuracy, shooting three pointers. And here he is at it again. LaSalle, Goliena with that banking shot. How uh -huh. it happened for Yui. It was as close as it can get, changing baskets. There was even a couple of times that Yui had a taste of the lead. Uh -huh. And then finally they go to their big guy. Big guy who could shoot from the outside. We're talking about Kevin Kambao. Uh -huh. And from different spots on the floor, he has not missed Ooh. with his three pointers. 32-17, already a big lead for La Salle, ending the first quarter. And we began the second quarter of action coming to you live here at the, from the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan. Benji Santiago coach Mike Perez. Sarah Asido at courtside. Kevin Kambao very early and coming off the bench for some of the usual starters. The LaSalle Green Hills. Nine points for Kevin Kambao. All coming from beyond the arc. He's already got two assists and three rebounds. Let, let's, uh, let's put a footnote on those threes. Yesterday, first quarter, two out of two, Kevin Kambao. Uh -huh. Now, three out of three, first quarter. <laughs> wow. And what more can we expect? Uh-huh. And Kevin shooting 40% from three league-wide. Oh, ma. Uh -huh. Look like an all-around player. 
You can never exactly second guess what's he going to do next. Yeah. He's the third um, leading three-point percentages in La Salle, second only to Goliena and uh, Policarpio. Those two have really good touches from the outside too. Sabi ni Coach Goldwyn Monteverde yesterday. I created a monster. Kevin <laughs> <laughs> Kimbao has won championships yep. and the uh, MVPs when he was an Emmy bullpup under Coach Goldwyn Monteverde. Yeah. We saw each other again yesterday here at the same venue. And La Salle with Kevin Kimbao, Michael Phillips defeating UP. Mark Nonoy hitting a three-pointer. Don't look now. This is a big 16-point lead already erected right. here by La Salle. And now it's a zone here by uh, the Green Archers. Buena, short with a jumper. Takbohan na naman, pero nakabalik sa defense ang QE. There for you, e. here comes LaSalle, Mark Nonoy. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness! And LaSalle right now shooting six out of ten for a very high 60%. Look at that skip pass by Nonoy out to David. Easy basket right there, uncontested. Thank you very much for that report, especially being a Sunday today, but a worship day day on it. Yeah, huh? right. So uh, they need more of those. Yeah. A lot of prayers here as they're playing catch up. They almost threw that ball away at the New Year Red Warriors coming up a timeout, finding themselves down by this much already 19. And you like that they put they put emphasis on the mental preparedness of, of the players because this is actually a very uh, strong game that they expect against the undefeated uh, Green Archers. So you have to be prepared, not just on the body, even on the mind. They just have to have a little bit more. MJ Langit. Langit. Bible. <laughs> yeah, and one other player I guess that the Red Warriors are missing in the rotation is Jackson. Oh, we haven't seen him ah, yet. Delvian Jackson. Yeah. Where is he, by the way? He's not on the bench. Bench as well. Oh. And the guy averages 12, 9, and 3 to go with three steals. And we love his hustle play, huh? Yeah. His activity on Correct. the floor. The Mr. NG, yeah. something like that, diba? He's like the Mike Phillips of UE, eh? <laughs> Sometimes you need that hustle guy to keep that energy up. Grabe nagtatayuan to mga players from the bench ng Lasal. Every time somebody is going for a three-point shot. It's like they believe all of those can really go hit the target. 
the man movement of uh, UE just very limited right now. Not much action off ball. Everybody just standing around and waiting for that pick and roll to happen. Ray Maga off the bench, scoring for UE his first two points. Oh, wow. oh wow! That set up by VJ David. Yeah, just like what some coaches would say, you have to move that rock side to side over an amount of time until the defense comes in late. That's when you attack. That was Aaron Bensalida with a basket. Samantala over at the other side, a three-pointer to man. As scored here by UE, that is Josh Alcantara. Oh, wow. oh. <laughs> I was just about to say that three-pointer earlier by you. That's only their second three-pointer, but now another three hit here by De La Salle. Ryan Belencio. Sally, that was just a three-point shooting here. Yeah, eight of thirteen now uh, La Salle. It's almost sixty percent. Fantastic, huh? Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> And Yui is trying to uh, fight back with their own three pointers. I think more importantly, mga three points nila uncontested. Oh, nga. Uh, and so, ang, ang challenge ng Yui, if they close out long, papasahan naman sila sa loob, titirahan sila sa loob. Yui is so, one of 11 from the three point country. Actually, this one's the second one. That's ah, the second one. Yes. Oh, oh. Yes. Ito naman. Pang marami. <laughs> Pang trese na yan. Pang tresing attempt, walo pumasok. Wow. Matindi ang exchange rate dito. Yeah. Sorry, if, if you have the, the green archers making those baskets from the outside, then the paint guys can start working freely kasi mas maluwag na yung loob. It's another three-pointer. They got the ball back here. Oh! oh what a Ole! And action continues. It's over at the other side for La Salle right now. And the drive and the basket. Uh, John El Policarpio playing both ends yeah. of the floor. I was going to say the same. Both With a shot block ends. and then the basket. Sorry, miss. And La Salle. A player down on the floor for the Warriors. All UE coming into play right there. Well, Lingo Lingo is playing. Rosetta, I think. Good here. Oh. I think Rosetta is down on the floor. The other end has gone up here. Oh, let's just hope he's just winded. Yeah. Ability up and no, down. No, no up in. Look, there have been what? There have been 62 possessions already in this game. We were talking about the first half. 31 for each team. This is one thing that uh, Okay That was Rosette Pryor so There's that drive He got hit on the head. Oh yeah Hope he's okay Yes, yeah. very good, very, very good. good That's good news That's good news oh. 45-28 lead for La Salle here. Four minutes and 48. This is turning out to be a real fast first half. Oh, yeah. And all of a sudden, it has slowed down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the pace is so quick dahil sa mga three points din ng, ano, ng La Salle eh, because if they make that three, you mean, the reaction is itakbo kagad ng yeah, UE. Phillips. That's roll again. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> then Phillips creating a highlight move here okay. in the first half for La Salle. Wow, and you can see that move all the way from the city of uh, Manila. Look at that middle ball screen, or side ball screen rather, and that pocket pass on that jam. He didn't have that high low, went to that side action finish on the short <laughs> they have done almost everything here in the first half for La Salle 
The three-point shooting, there's that dunk, the nice passing. Tsaka yung mga big man kasi nila, you know, after an action, ginagawa ka agad yung secondary action to dive, to oh, roll, wow. the screen. And they're very intentional with these actions. I mean, Coach Topex together with Coach Colors, he thought this guy is really good. Good tap. Playing good defense, UE. Noi Red Morgan buries the three. That's a 33 pointer for UE Red Warriors. Well, they'll need Red Morgan to start going now. Gotta take the lead. Ben Phillips earlier with a dunk. I thought it was going for a three. Yeah. UE there must wiser now on that turn, but. Stasha with another basket. So Evan Nelly's not playing. You know? Yeah, I don't think he's on the bench too. We saw him getting hurt yesterday. Somehow was able to recover. Yeah, might as well siguro. Pahinga na lang. Oh, yeah. recovery. Shot clock down to five for UE. Noy Ramoga can knock it down. Phillips the rebound. Phillips springing it down. Phillips over to the corner. A three on its way. No. UE. The contact. The two free throws will be awarded the Red Warriors here. That's Thomas. Had the right thing in mind. Kept the defense moving backward. Just keeping the pace of going for that layup shot. Dave Thomas, beginning the little free throws, Barasa Red Warriors. Red side, three minutes. The uh, first half of action. This is the last of the four scheduled games for today. But don't you worry, Pagising Unit will be starting as early as 10 a.m. <laughs> Uh, you, you guys just have dinner and breakfast. We'll be back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't miss us too much. Good touch, though, by uh, Thomas on those free throws. 14-point lead here for La Salle. Yeah, they have the basketball. Which is very much manageable, naman, Benji. You know, down 14 at this pace at the rate the, the game's being played. An open look for another three. Nope, doesn't go. Phillips is fouled on his way up, going for a shot. And he's going to be shooting two free throws. I mean, we can look at tapes and film about the threes taken by LaSalle, and you can see majority of those were uncontested. Yeah. Not that you doesn't want to defend them. It's the action that's really giving them those free areas to take the three. They keep that ball moving. Yeah. And so are the players. Yeah. Ball in man movement. And they, they close that out with uh, shot making. You move your man, you move your ball, you make your shot. <laughs> so far, five points for uh, Ben Phillips. And none more sensational than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 15 point advantage for De La Salle University Green Archers. UE, the trapping in the backcourt. They cross the line. Oh, nice fake. Oh, yeah. lang ang tanggal bago na iangat. Yeah. So, shot lock lang ang inaabot doon ni uh, Lingo Lingo. Yeah, ganda na ng initial fake niya, eh, Saya. Then Phillips, the bounce pass, they almost lost it. Estacio. Tent to shoot for La Salle. A three on its way. Phillips keeps it in play for La Salle. He shoots his own three. Can't get it to go. UE on the other hand. Yeah. Down 15 if they do good here. A little bit closer. Offline. That shot by Welo Lingo Lingo. 50-35, LaSalle.
That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> they seem to be falling in love with that one, huh? Might as well settle for a jumper long at mid range. Yeah. EJ Abadam. And the archers really reading that defense very well. Oh! And UE wants their own three pointers to click also for them. That's the second with, from Remoga. Yeah, that's the fourth three pointer made by UE here in the first half. Mm -hmm. Lead is 14. Doyle Remogat for UE. Goes for it again. Oh! And makes it again. Uh, you guys totally forgot about me. I'm still here in this game. Says Remogat. Knocked down three already in this quarter. And all of a sudden, he finds himself like in double figures right now. Noel Morgan with a couple of three-pointers. And how about this? Oh. Soft shot. And they still have time to probably cut this down to a three-point, a ten-point game. Skandor with that last basket for LaSalle. Going for the last shot is UE. Down by 13. It's Noel Morgan almost hitting that one. And at the end of the first two quarters, what action that we have seen here so far? It's one of those cases where in you cannot afford to blink or else yeah. you miss a lot. 54-41 mm -hmm. for De La Salle University against UE, the end of the first two quarters.
We are at the half and a big lead already erected here by De La Salle University Green Archers against the University of the East Red Warriors, 54-41. Hot shooting as displayed here by the De La Salle University Green Archers. The Did not see action yesterday, but right now he's here, and that spells trouble for UE. Coach Mike? Well, it really boils down to the field goal percentages. 50%, 21 of 42. Actually, um, UE also had the same amount of attempts, 42, but they only were able to convert 30, 35% of them. Rebounds, obviously. Strength inside of the bigs of uh, LaSalle. Kopol mo pa yan, yung apat na blocks na ginawa na nila against nothing for the UE Red Warriors. Ball distribution is so much better for um, De La Salle. I think they have 13 assists, not 30. Uh, versus eight that of uh, UE. Oh, so, dami naman yan. <laughs> so yun yung ano yun yung nagpapahirap nung uh, game para sa UE. Do you do you cover inside when they're powerful on the rebounds or do you cover the outside shots when they distribute the ball better? It even makes you cover more ground. Two players may be in double figures for the UE Red Warriors. Remogat and Lingo Lingo both with mm -hmm. 11. Kiambao all hitting all those nine points mm -hmm. from Rainbow Country. Mm -hmm. Escandor with seven. Ben Phillips highlighting it with a dunk. Has six. Rosete got hurt, mm -hmm. but he seems to be A-OK. -okay. He's mm -hmm. got to provide more than just four points. Actually, in the second quarter, UE Panga outscoring right. LaSalle 24 to 22. Correct. It was that disparity in the end of the first quarter with it and score not in the 30 to 17 in favor of De La Salle. Well, let's see if things could really develop high enough yep. for uh, UE to uh, catch up and get themselves really in serious contention in this ball game as they try to. Uh, there'll be some of those teams who will try. Right to hand the first defeat of La Salle, sitting pretty at the top of our team standings. And can it us uh, here? Mm, okay. Sabi mo maginaw dito. Hindi naman eh. Mainit nga eh. <laughs> Mainit! Uh, I was I was gonna say bench the, uh, no, the, the 31 bench points that um, La Salle had. Nine of those actually came from Kevin Kiambao. And pati si Goliela, ang ganda rin ang kinontribute nun. I know, equal in distribution of points yeah. for La Salle. That's why nobody's still in double figures right. as of the moment right. uh, after two quarters. So here we go. Second half of action already underway here. De La Salle with the basketball. It's Kevin Kambao who has not missed from beyond the arc. Oliana. Bright. Outside shot, VJ David with a miss. Kimbao getting it back, trying to hurry it up. Juan Ko unable. Yui with a steal. Everybody touching that basketball for Yui. Yeah. They could have already attacked about two possessions, uh, two touches back. Well, it's going to be a foul. See Elijah Goliena and Tinawagan and foul. Coach Topex does not agree. You might have seen uh, an earlier action or an infraction yeah. by UE. Nevertheless, it's still Red Warriors basketball. Shot clock down to five. Good shot. A miss. That's uh, a good shot, though, coming out of a stagger. Elijah Goliena in the paint, falling away, uh, banks it in! This guy's really pretty steady for Coach Topex. I mean, his, his first percentages on the shots, every time you need it, he makes it. 
He may not turn out to be the flashiest yeah. for Coach Topex, but he's very, very efficient. He's got seven points yeah. in the ball game. The guy's very fundamentally sound, very basic. Katulad nga sabi ni Kobe Bryant, you don't never get tired of the basics. And this guy's been showing it, si Goliena. Pero yung isang sapatos, tinanggal yung letter B. Ano? This is a basics. Uh, A6. <laughs> Na gets mo na, na gets Medyo mo na. Medyo na gets ko na, oo. <laughs> na gets ko na, okay. Medyo slow lang. <laughs> Bright, David, ikot ang bola. The three, won't go. That was a mystery, pero you see the ball movement, di ba? Oo, oh, eh. ando pa rin yung execution. Eh. Yeah, equal opportunities talaga for everyone, eh. Josh Alcantara, big man in front of him. Where does he go to? Mm -hmm. Hurried shot, producing nothing for UE. Kiambao. Oh. Ooh, shot him a bit. Yeah, but I'm going to Here's the thing with those passes, ni Kevin Kiambao. Even yung kakampanya, tingin hindi may papasa ng ganito. <laughs> Nailusot pa rin eh. Kailangan aware kay si Kevin eh. Kiambao. Yeah. Ang ah, may hawak ng bola. Eh. Right. Here he goes for another three. Bow! Oh, wow! <laughs> and the guy hasn't missed from three, Benji. Four of four right now. That's what we're talking about, Kevin Kambao. At, at, at importante dun, he's taking it in the flow of the offense. You know what happened there? Kevin Kambao realizing, sabi niya, I might as well stop with those assist pass. Yeah. Baka masaktan ko yung mga teammates ko. I eh. might as well go for the shot. Yeah. <laughs> But Kevin Kiambao is putting the UAAP on notice. He is one, if not the best player right now in the country in the UAAP. Well, he's trying to put them in a serious position mm -hmm. at the resumption of the UAAP for sure. Yeah, when you look at his numbers, he's 17 points per game. As we see this three here by Kevin, he's 17 points per game. Nine assists, which is number one in De La Salle. Uh, a nine rebounds, rather, number one in La Salle. Five assists, number two in their lineup. And he's got two steals, four a forward. Active numbers mm -hmm. in a lot of departments for this big man, Kevin Kambao ng De La Salle University Green and Archers. They have a 13-point lead, 59-46. We're here in the third. Here he is with the basketball once again. DJ David launches it from long distance. They got the ball back. Oops, Kevin Kambao claiming. Yeah, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Last touch, definitely that was on him. In the Aro Aro Pasco boy. Means and Valentine's Day. Oh. <laughs> 59.46 for La Salle. UE with a basketball. How do you like that? Day Thomas getting that ball to decide to roll in. Yeah, maganda rin pinapakita nito si Thomas right now for the Warriors. Quick hands on UE here, making a stop. Labing isa na lang ito, ha? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say the same too. 59-48 UE. Where everybody else could forget, they're also making a very good run. Mm -hmm. As I made mention, in the second quarter, they were able to outscore La Salle 24 to 22. Right. Actually, well, win quarter yon para sa kanila. Eh. Yep. Diba? And so you ha just have to build on that. And you, you don't see it on the screen, but earlier, Coach Don Aliada was applauding his team for the good effort. Noire Mogat surprisingly missing both mm -hmm. free throws. Yeah. He's got a total of 11 so far in this game. Uh -huh. Mark Nonoy. Oh. We talked about Unchallenged 3. That's just one of them. Eight points for Mark Nonoy off the bench. Josh Alcantara shot oh, nice back door. 
You got to take this. No choice. Oh, yeah. Three second shot clock, but they got the ball back. Ooh. Oh, clobbered. Dave Thomas will be shooting two free throws. But you love that backdoor cut, that recovery, and that pass. Sayang, sana kung may floater si, si Thomas ba yan? Yeah. Yeah, so kung may floater si Thomas, he didn't have to go inside, no? Towards Bright. Pero ayaw naman ni Bright na basta tinitirahan na lang siya. No easy oh, yeah, baskets yeah. in front of me. Pupuntahan ka pa rin yan. <laughs> <laughs> Maganda rin sana yung mga shot fake ng, ano, eh, ng uh, Red Warriors. Kaya lang minsan, kahit na free na sila, they don't take it. Nag-hesitate pa rin. And so they have to move that ball again. And eventually that defense gets to catch up. One of two in that trip. Ayun. Si Ate. Nagbe-merienda. Nagka-carbo load din. Kevin Gambo. Oh, no. His first miss. First miss, yeah. No, even more got. They want a traveling call on Noiri Mogat, but instead a foul is called against Lasal. Si Mike Nono yung tinawagan and nakaharang. Taking a look at this play. Oh, yeah, that oh, was yeah. what they were pointing at. Because after Rimogat did that in and out, he kind of like shoved a little bit, si, ano, si Mike Nono. I think that's what they were contesting. But there was the contact first before he fell down. That's right. That's where the, the whistle really came. And not the shove. So Ryan making up for those two missed free throws earlier for Noy Rimogat. Yeah. It's almost always expected. Pag si Rimogat ang nandyan, basket dapat. Yep. Eh, no? yeah. And I'm sure itong si Rimogat is cher uh, cherishing this moment of being able to play against uh, these big guns of uh, LaSalle. Kami minsan ganun eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yung parang yung favorites, yun yeah. ang makakaharap mo. And it creates something inside you. Yep. As we take a look at this one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Eat my dust. Yeah, and Bright tried to make a run for it, but Rimo got just able to finish. Kevin Kimbao. Oh, oh ganda na pasa. Hindi lang nasa lo. Bright and they lost it. They turned it over. Oh, Dave Thomas, a... yun naman. Blanca ang inabot. Okay, Bright Nwanko. And over at the other side, basket counts. Yeah, out in the open floor, when you've got people in the right spots, the archers are going to hurt you. Boris Marasigan. Holy it down. Yeah, started defensively, you know. And then this aggressive attack. Grabe. By Voris Marasigan. This is going to be shooting a bonus free throw here. His first basket. Kanina bench and tinira na yun ni Thomas. It's exactly the same shot that he took, no? Yeah. When he got fouled. So, really would be good to have, I guess, just a medium range jumper or a floater finish. And it's always, as they say, kagaya mo, coach, naririnig ko na rin yan na sinasabi, you get, you get blocked. Mm, that's Pero, fine. Hindi na yung parang yun na lang yung nangyari oh, sa buong, right. buong laro mo, eh, <laughs> right. di ba? Right. Forget about it, just move on. Right. You, you, have to, you have to figure it out and make a good case. Noy Remog at the Pinoy step! Ooh. He banks it in, he scoops it up, gets it to go, and one. Yeah. At saka si Nervy niya, eh, tinan mo. He surveyed the field, oops. Little Euro here, good the other side. He knew that defense was going left. And he attacked the front foot too. Very good move by Rimogat. And this time he completes the three-point play. Don't look now. This is just a single-digit lead being protected here by De La Salle. Uh, they need one good stop here, speaking of the Warriors. No, no, top the key jumper. Can't get it. Good. Ito na naman ang UE Red Warriors. Down by just eight points. Remogat with a three. It's offline. That would have been big. 
It's John L. Policarpio. Look at this big guy with the dribble, yep. the handle. And he gets fouled on his way up. We'll be shooting to you. Tsaka alam na niya yung gagawin niya, Bench, eh, no? Pagdating sa loob, pihit ka agad, eh. It's DJ Robles who was called for the foul. The initial defender. John El Policarpe only has two points so far yeah. in this game. That's below his average because Poli, like they call him, he normally averages 11 points, four rebounds, and one steal. Kapag kapag gusto ng gawin yun, itawagin siya Poli. Poli Carpio. In the interview of uh, Phil Oil, that's what Coach Topex called him. Eh. Yeah. Poli, <laughs> you know. Not to be confused with Paul Lee. <laughs> Paul Lee played for UE. Yeah, huh? yeah, right. <laughs> you tell him Paul Lee, you know. Because he's in the middle. Missing at the first free throw. He's back to John L. John L. He's back to me. He's back to me. He's back to me. He's back to me. We're just having a lot of fun here for the coverage. Because all of a sudden, UE is back in this ball game. Missing both free throws. Mm -hmm. Now they're down only six. Got to execute here. First, you got to cross the, la the half court. They will. Now they're setting up their half court offense, but shot clock is down to seven right now. The three on its way. Ben Phillips coming down with the rebound. That was well Lingo Lingo. Losing his touch right now from the field. And an offensive foul on John El Policarpio. This unit is actually doing wonders here for uh, the Red Warriors as able to stand the ground. TJ Robles sacrificing his body and they will get the ball back when we continue with this ball game. 64-56, LaSalle still with the lead. Ang parin ng Lasal 64 to 56. Hassle back. Yan ang plano ng Red Warriors ngayong second half. They need to be aggressive. Payo ni Coach Shock sa mga bata niya. Ang dating kasi sa kanya ay na starstruck ang Red Warriors kay Kevin Kiambao. Banat nga ni assistant coach Don Aliado sa bench, it's just a game. Kahit gaano pa kalaki ang lamang, it's nothing. They just have to continue playing. Benji and Coach Mike. Yep. Uh, Sarah, they're reporting bench na, you know, kahit gaano pa kalaki ang laman, tuloy lang ang laban. Which is really how Dapat players should approach talaga. the game. Yeah. And how many times have we said in plenty of the coverages that we have made, Coach Mike, mm -hmm. for some people, for some of the teams who are playing catch-up, mm -hmm. sometimes you don't need to look at the scoreboard. Yeah. It's all a matter of execution. At saka starting the second quarter, UE has been winning the battle of the quarters right now. They're still outscoring LaSalle 15 and 10. And oh, he, imagine, di ba? Yeah, and I'm sure yung mga supporters oh, ng uh, LaSalle, medyo nag-worry na. Isa na dyan si Sir Joey Estrella, na very big LaSalle fan. But I'm sure he's gonna have faith in the <laughs> system uh, of Coach Topex and the players of the Green Archers on the floor. Pati yung mga followers lang, nararamdaman yung pressure. Yeah. Uh, hindi ka pa natatalo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, how do you like that? MJ Langit set the line, making his first. He's got three points so far in this ball game. And he makes both. And free throws really are helping out the UE Red Warriors. They only missed a couple of free throws. Yun niya tayo ka kay Remogat kanina. Well, Ben Phillips. Sabi niya kailangan magising na muli. Oh, and he commits a foul. Pushing foul, 42, Benjamin Phillips penalty. 
penalty. You know, what yeah, 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 si si So, parang it's a useless foul. Uh -huh. And now, free throws. Remember, uh, two missed free throws lang for you in this ball game. Mm -hmm. They're actually doing much better on the free throw compared uh, three to na pala, uh, three. Three. 12 of 15. Sila. Yeah. But still, they're sh shooting more than uh, LaSalle. Mm -hmm. Nine free throws for LaSalle. And the accuracy, sabi nga natin, there are plenty of ways to play catch up right. and to score. And this is one of them, being at the line. Yeah, and you know, in, in this half alone, at least for this quarter, they've scored five second chance points. Previous to that, they only had two. So it only goes to show us na mas may effort itong uh, quarter na to para sa Red Warriors. Well, a cost for worry for the followers of LaSalle and even for the team itself as they call a timeout. Their lead is just by six as of the moment. Well, this is an interesting development here. A technical foul has been called on head coach Topex Robinson for continuous complaining. It was warned earlier. And doing it again. This will pave the way for a technical free throw to be taken here. El Buena will be shooting technical free throw. Earlier, he made both free throws. Mm -hmm. And it's now down to five. The lead for La Salle. Well, so we'll have ball possession here, Coach Mike. Yeah, well, Red Warriors are actually testing uh, itong <laughs> Green oh, Archers oh, right uh. now. Ano? The way that they responded so far, like what we said, medyo lamang sila pagdating sa game ng quarter, starting ng second. Ng second. You know, it's 8, 19, and 12 in the third quarter in scoring. Maybe Coach Jack Santiago and the rest of his coaching staff, mm -hmm. sabi ko nga dati, nasa dito sila sa verde. Uh -oh. <laughs> dito na sila sa pula, eh, di ba? There's something beyond uh -huh. just this ball game. And truly, parang uh, ano ba yan eh? Na ikaw ang unang makaka mm -hmm. patikim sa lasal. Yeah, it is. Technical lang naman eh. Bola naman talaga ng lasal eh. They made free throws kanina sa Ilbuena. And then the technical foul was called. Uh, you can see it on the facial expression <laughs> of uh, Coach Topex and uh, the officials trying to figure things out here. Isn't that enough punishment? Yeah, that, the technical? That, that possession should really go to Green Arch. Oh, my. Pero yun nga, cost for worry. Just a five point lead being protected mm -hmm. here by LaSalle. It's Mark Nonoy. John L. Polycarpio, that is. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Estacio lost oh. it. Polycarpio picks it up. Underneath, Paul. LaSalle Paren. Shot lock down to one. Melencio. Shot lock violation. Hindi to mama. Yeah. So missed yeah. by Ryan Melencio. A hurried shot. But that was a good cover by Rimogat. Anticipating that. Was it Rimogat? By the, the, that pocket pass. No, it's Langit pala. On that pocket pass intended for the rolling Polycarpio. Ito naman, may steal naman off the inbound ng LaSalle. Mm -hmm. Oh, it stays for it. Did they call it right? UE. Uh, that will remain with the uh, Red Warriors. UE pa rin, UE. Yeah. 
I guess some pinatama out of bounds na. Oh, it hit his Ay, foot too. Yeah. It hit his foot. Right. <laughs> right. Back to you. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, oh bad wow. inbound. Whoa. That's how potent that press really is. You got the green archers wounded. They turned to this press and what a finish there. And that foul. Kail Buena ang tinawagan ng foul. They just got frustrated. Yung inbound, uh, the pressure uh -huh. na binigay ng Lasal. Mm -hmm. Because they know they had a chance to cut this down to a three-point game. They're only down five. But still, this is still a good spot for them. Earlier free throws awarded John El Policarpio. He missed both. Mm -hmm. Let's see how he fares this time around. I think that pass was intended for Rosette. They, they felt that he was going to be that uh, pressure release from the middle, that flash in the middle. But since he came in late, Policarpio was there first. Now they're reviewing a sequence here. Could have been a hard foul. Yeah, whether there's, I guess, whether there's a flagrant or unsportsmanlike. Mm -hmm. Okay. Agree. Free throws for John L. Policarpio. He's got three points so far in the ball game. He's still got one more. Ito yung mga fire extinguisher free throws. For La Sal. Pamatay sunog, you know? Inside two minutes, ang ating third period. Tapos yung play naman sa side ng UE na gano'n, ang tinatawag na tapo ng sabaw. Yo! Oh, nice fake. Good shot. Day Thomas. Use a size advantage underneath. Mm -hmm. And it was really close. Point blank. That's Rosette, I think, who made the basket. Yeah, that's Rosette. Rosette. Yeah, that's Rosette who made the basket. Oh, wow. Sean and Policarpio with a three-pointer. Surprising everybody on the floor here. Mm hmm and all of a sudden, an eight-point lead again. Almost a bad inbound, a bad pass here for UE. Oh, you got to take that. But doesn't have that, I guess, in his arsenal. Sabi ni DJ Robles, wala lang makabi-rebounder pag nag-witness ako. Oh, nice pass! Oh! Try again, try again. Mark Rosette will not be denied. Nawala lang yung assist. Yeah, pero ganda nung pass. Well, with Mogat. Buti na lang na-recover niya. Mike Nonoy, blocked! Yui just down by six. Could bring it down further here. There's a foul on La Salle. They're in penalty. Well, talk about Raymark Rosete. Grabe yung ginagawa nito for Yui. It's going to be Noire Mogat will be shooting free throws here. It's not even a minute remaining here in the third period. UE has outscored De La Salle 25 to 17. The possibility to close out the quarter strong here for the Red Warriors. Polycarpio tries to stand for another three. That went long and strong. Ben Phillips, the rebound. And Noire Mogat. And that's going to be his second. Foul. Penalty na rin ang UE. That's a problem there. Pero kita mo si Re Mogat, no? Takbo ka agad kay coach. Kuha ng instructions. Oo, oh, eh. Point guard na point guard talaga yung mentality. And you love that attachment of the coach to the, you know, to the point guard. It's really, katuloy nga sinasabi nila, the, the point guard is the extension of the coach on the floor. Split charities for Estacio right there. Just hanging in there. Itong uh, De La Salle. Up by five. Pressure defense in the backcourt. 
Josh Alcantara double teamed and oh. called for traveling. Well, kanina nakita natin na nag-inbound is si Rimogat. Well, bakit ganun? Kasi most probably ang plan ni Coach Jack is for him to get the pass back para siya yung makapagbaba. Kasi uh -oh. kasi yan nasa loob, dinideny ng dinideny siya. Difference of about two seconds game clock and shot clock here. Mm -hmm. Policarpio, double teamed. Oh, An open wow. look for a three. Estacio knocks it down. Escandor, oh, Escandor yeah, rather. Escandor, right. That was Francis Escandor. I think that's his second or third. And that's a big basket. Right. Para Salasal, Noy Rimoga just puts Ooh. it up. The beat. <laughs> oh, wow. More importantly, I think Rimoga's down on the floor. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just when he is playing good here. Yeah. And actually setting up the plays very nicely for Yui. They can't afford to lose Noy Rimogat because of an injury. But this third quarter still belongs to Yui, Red Warriors. So expect a more exciting and a close fourth quarter when we come back with more of this battle between LaSalle and Yui. How unfortunate. Well, we'll still have the fourth quarter, 75-67 for La Salle. Great, great comeback here. Two quarters that they have outscored at mm -hmm. La Salle by the UE Red Warriors. And as we move on to our fourth quarter, the final 10 minutes of this ball game, hold on to whatever it is that you can hold on mm -hmm. because this ball game is far from over and you will never know. You, you know, gotta see it for yourselves. You know, unti unti lang bench ng uh, UE. Chinachaga talaga eh. And hindi bumibitaw, yun ang importante dun. That's what you call inching closer and closer. Yeah. Normally, you know, man, employ na mga coaches when you're you're up against a very strong team. The idea is to keep yourself close until the end. Give yourselves a chance to tama, beat them. Tama. Yeah. And they have responded very well. Huh? Correct. Of UE. Correct. The most probably we can learn later on. Kano nangyara exactly kay Noy Rimogat? Will yeah. he be able to still come back in this game? It's been huge for the Red Warriors. It's their top scorer for one thing. Yeah, so somebody's gonna step up here. Uh, Josh Alcantara short with that jumper. Kevin Kimbao back on the floor. DJ Robles on him. The pass deflected. Yeah. Shot clock 11 for LaSalle. They wanted to execute that dribble handoff with Francis and Escandor coming from the corner. And coming from that right side, lefty, mas madali and dribble penetrate going middle. And another foul here, MJ Langit. Only his first though. Yeah. Si Langit ang lumalabas na secondary point guard nila eh. Kaya nga. Yeah. So he's got to carry the load here from that but, role. But he was called back to the bench by Coach Jack Santiago. Oh, and you see Raven Cortez here with the layup. Yeah, and that two-man game and that short pocket pass really doing well since the start of the game para dito sa Lazal. Only the second basket by Raven Cortez. And this jumper doesn't go.
Kevin Kimball launches another three. Alcantara with the basketball. So much danger in involving Kevin Kimball in an early blur screen coming off an early offense. He can hit you from outside kasi. Oh, good pass. You got to the defense was there. Yeah. Kevin Pacquiao. Right. Uh, Kevin Kimball Kim rather. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry. <laughs> what am I thinking? <laughs> Kambao. Oh. How about that? The finger roll against two defenders. And all of a sudden, LaSalle really have to make the extra effort here to preserve the lead, to increase it further. Kevin Kambao doing his thing. 79-67, LaSalle. Pinahinga nga muna sa laro, si Noy Remogat matapos matapilok. Ayon sa kanya, kaya pa naman niyang bumalik at sa ngayon nga, ni Yeye Luhan pa ang kanang binti nito. Habang pinipindot-pindot nga at pinipisil-pisil ng piti ang binti nito, eh talaga namang napapaaray sa sakit itong si Noy. Pero huwag mag-alala ang mga fans ng Red Warriors dahil ayon mismo sa kanya, kayang-kaya pa niyang bumalik sa laro. Thank you very much for that report, Sarah. Asido and Binti para na dali. Oh. At least hindi ankle, ano? Yeah, yeah. So baka nagkabangga na tuhod, na tuhod or something like that. At magandang balita yan para sa mga fans ng uh, UE. Oo, oh, ah. Nakagaya ni LB Matura, let's go UE! Yun ang sinasabi niya. Ganun din si Nick Nax. Pero si Nick Nax nagkakamali rin. Go UE Red Horse? Huh? Mali ah. <laughs> Parang mali. Ano mali ah? <laughs> Red pero hindi yun. <laughs> Ama na yan, alasin ka na. <laughs> anyway, 79-67, Lasal. This is an all-important execution here. Oh, pero panira na pinasa. Yeah. Yon, na masakit don sa play na yon. Mm -hmm. Holding already had the defense sliding, eh, no? Hindi na lang finish. Naghanap pa na mapapasahan. There were several shots at Welo Lingo Lingo. The way he started the ball game, parang hindi siya magmimintis. Yeah, yeah, and then all right. of a sudden, he has gone cold. Mm -hmm. Kaya naghesitate, eh. Yeah. Decided for a right. pass, eh. And David was pointing to Abadam to go a little deeper on the corner oh, as he drove. Oh, kasi nakaangat yung bantay niya eh. Plenty of time at the shot clock for LaSalle. Almost a steal here, big recovery here by Kevin Kambao who lost it. Oh, one of the very few times you see that. And then this pass, and then this basket. So, Welo Lingo Lingo, sabi niya, I'm back in the groove of things now. Skandor with a miss. Well, outsized that time. Ito si Welo Lingo Lingo. Wala siya yeah. magawa. Hey, Kevin Kambao. Pero ang ganda nitong fast break na to para sa UE Red Warriors. Perfectly timed. They wanted it. And they were able to execute well. Mm -hmm. Flash Express pass of the game. Yeah. It's the same play here. DJ scoops it up, banks it in, and it counts. There's a foul. 
Well, basically, it's the inbounder going around the world to get the ball back on the baseline and finish with that layup shot. As we see him getting that on that handoff. Only the fifth point for BJ David. I mean, what a time for it to come. But he's been facilitating well in the absence oh, no of man. Eva Nele, no? Kanina. Knocking on the door na itong oh, yeah. uh, they, They'll give him this, yeah. Mark Rossetti. But, uh, that's another double-digit lead. Mm -hmm. Para rito sa Lasal, Kevin Kimbao thought about it. Draws near, attacks, can't get it. Then the tip by Raven Cortez. Raven Cortez, really good complimentary player here for the main big guys of LaSalle. You know, Raven Cortez has six points and make yeah. that eight offensive rebound unit. Put Correct. back, so eight rebounds Correct. in the game. Yeah, he's normally got six point seven rebounds and uh, two assists. LaSalle clears it. A miss on the three by UE. Noe Rimogat still as yet. If he can still come back in this game. Kiambao has been missing those three-pointers already. Mm -hmm. Now busa na. Nakatatlong mm mintis -hmm. na yata si Kevin now after making that three earlier. Good pass. Osete just missed on that floater from the baseline. Ganda ng mga pasa, hindi lang makonvert. Oh, ano? ah. oh. And then this three-pointer. Grabe, Goliana. At the right moment. In a very good decision mm -hmm. and a big basket for LaSalle. That was the 13th three pointer made by LaSalle in this game. You, Inaman, gusto bumawi ka agad and trying to hit outside shots. Uh -huh. Well, it all happens because of the great execution. You really set up mm -hmm. that kind of a play. Yeah. And Goliana responds very well. Tsaka yung, yung footwork ng driving lane side, plant right, step back with the left. Grabe. Normally, ang mga players na right-handed, they go middle, plant right, step left. Eh. Pero yung right, bang klase yung move na yun. That's good. We're seeing Maglupa, first time in this ball game, fielded in by Coach Jack Santiago, and they still could not buy a basket on UE Red Warriors. Down by 16 right now, halfway here in this final quarter. E.J. Abadam lost it, and he's going to be called for the foul. Yeah. Yeah. And I think a change naman dun kay Kevin Kemba, once he gets that ball on that corner, on that side of the floor, nag attempt siya ng tira, kanina hindi na, diretso yung dribble handoff na kagad, kasi nag-minti siya nung last three attempts niya. Nasis, napapasabay yeah. sa flow ng game yeah. ng Lasalle itong UE. Right. So those are shots that if they don't make, mm -hmm. di ba? Yung hindi, kanina, okay na eh. Yung diskarte, yeah. yung unti-unti yeah. sabi nga natin, yeah. eh, di ba? And, and they, they are getting outscored now in this quarter, 12 versus 4. And faking a foul, that's the second called on Josh Alcantara and that's going to be a technical mm -hmm. so a technical free throw to be taken here by LaSalle <laughs> 16 points lamang ng LaSalle pwede pandagdagan and that's exactly what happened by that technical free throw ni VJ David mm -hmm. and VJ's been again uh, pretty solid in lieu of uh, Evan Yell, who's not available for this game. I'm good to see Noe Remogat back on the floor mm -hmm. for UE. Kailangan nila yan. PJ David, what a wow. move! Wow. And the penetration by PJ David. Ayan na naman siya, Benj. Oh my God! That six straight points coming out of that point guard of La Salle. VJ. Well, he's double figures all of a sudden. He's got 10. Right. 
And don't look now. This is now a 21-point lead for La Salle. Oh. But Noy Remoga just uh, announced his re-entry into yeah. this ball game. Looks like that leg is okay. Those moments, those precious minutes of Walasi Noy Remoga, that's yeah, when La right. Salle yeah. again surge mm -hmm. with the big lead here. Look at that move. Excellent move for VJ David, and then back to back yeah. he goes. As I made mention, he's already got 10 points. Noy Remogat mm -hmm. firing long distance, gets it to go. But is there enough time for them uh -huh. to come back into this game? Here's uh, Phil Oil, Echo Oil, Center in San Juan. So LaSalle with the basketball. There's going to be a curl and a pin down in the corner. They didn't go to that. Bad pass. And a foul in the backcourt. Mm hmm. And Coach Topex talking to VJ David, uh, telling him to look at the guy that's rolling out of that baseline out of bounds before he looks for that hit on the corner. It's Aaron Brinsalida committing that foul in the backcourt. So is there enough time? Yeah. Three minutes and 42. Let's see how they do it for UE. Noi Remogat firing long distance. Can't get it to go. One shot at a time given by LaSalle. Mm -hmm. E.J. David. Oh, Blocked. good block. Rosette, but it goes back to David. Yeah, Rose Rosette has been really good for the Red Warriors. Jumper short for Goliana, and here comes UE. Oh, Hule. Yeah. But before that, Maglupay actually did a good job of preventing that middle ah. action by uh, Goliena. Tried to stop him. This time around, she was on the other foot. Nope. You're not getting past Bright. They still have the basketball on UE. Mm -hmm. Down by 18 right now. The final three minutes of this ball game. And if you think you have uh, caught the last of La Salle with her long schedule, no, they're going to come back again tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's three straight playing uh, days for La Salle. Marathon schedule yeah. here yeah. for La Salle. Yeah. Oh, good one-legger. <laughs> Josh Alcantara. Yeah. Off one leg, parang si Ron Lester Guerrero yan ah. Machine gun. <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh. Evan Buensalida with a nice move. The curl in the paint. Two and a half remaining in this game. Well, from the looks of things, I don't know. Two and a half. Yeah. La Salle leads by 18. UE can uh -huh. win. Manage Maglupa with a three pointer. Sububok siya ng layup kanina. Napalpal lang yeah. siya ni Bright. Eh. Yeah. At saka so, wala yung depensa ngayon. Nakasag kaya dapat lang yeah. itira niya talaga. Ah, uh, eto oh! naman ang bawe ni Bright Wango. 
So he posterized Rosette yeah. in that play. And we're down to the last two minutes. So it seems like from the way things are looking yeah. here. Could be the punctuation point there. And not only that, UE is not the team who has yet to uh, defeat, to, to defeat right. Lasal. And we're still searching for that team. Three to shoot for Lasal. A miss, they got the ball back. Shadon delicado yung ano eh, yung two man game side ng ano, ng Lasal. That short roll is really just giving them a different vision on the point of attack. That foul by Maglupay mm -hmm. sends UE. Uh, they're already in penalty. And Lasal will be shooting free throws. When Salida will be given two free throws here. Pero laking bagay din ng wala yun yung, yung Jackson, no? Oh, in W. Jackson. Yeah, yeah, because they're missing, what, I think 12 points, but. Yeah, why not? Roughly, roughly 12 points and 9 rebounds. And the stops that he could make. Yeah. He could have made rather dito para sa, against yeah. Lasal. Tsaka yung presence niya could. Maybe change the mind of the attacks from the inside. And he's got good touch from outside too. Naka three points there. Yes. Diba? We saw that. We saw that yeah. in their previous game. Huh? Uh oh, uh oh. Play broken up here. LaSalle coming up with a steal. Escandor. Corner three won't go. The putback by Bright and Wanquo. Bright and Wanquo, his production, eight points, mm -hmm. three rebounds. Boy, that, that injury in the latter part of the third quarter really hurting it on you, you are Warriors. After that, Asal made a run. A minute and ten. Sabi nga natin, sayang din yung pagkakabuli. Eh. It was mm -hmm. those right. moments nga. Yung nasaktan. Correct. Correct. Si Noy Rimogat. Mm -hmm. That's when Lasal got away with, uh, with the consecutive baskets. It could not be answered back. This is uh, Mark Cabero missing the three. 49 seconds in this ball game. It's another victory. Para Salasal here. All we have to figure out is what's going to be the final score. Did not come out as an easy victory. The, I mean, yung score natin, deceptive yan eh. Yeah, yeah. Lumayo na lang, yung konting pagkakataon eh. Kasi no, bumaba na yan ng five eh, di ba? Yes. It's only a five-point game until they threw that ball on that sideline out of bounds. No, nakasteal si Policarpio. Sent him to the free throws. Making up for those uh, mistakes mm -hmm. and then recovering, getting back into the group of things. The execution of the plays being designed by the coach, especially Coach Topex Robinson. Right. The sacrifice pa na technical. Right. For <laughs> continuous complaining. Right. I guess it fired up Ooh. his boys here. Oh, wow. Wow, Mark Rosette. Rosette. Sabi niya, pinosterize mo ko uh, kanina. Gusto niya, yeah. bawiin sana rito kay. Yeah, he had bad Brighton intentions Wanko, there. Yeah. Cabrera with a nice setup job. Yun nga lang. Oh, it was just a tap out. It considered to be a block roll already. Para kay Bright. Mm -hmm. Made that stop. Wow. And Rosette has really been a re good guy here for the Red Warriors. Ganda yung pinakita nito si Rosette. Ten points in the ball game for Mark Rosette. And there were also some of those intangibles that mm -hmm. he was able to come up with. Mm -hmm. Although in the end, LaSalle maintaining focus. So. And that will be it in this ball game. Oh. Outed pa ba yan? Hintayin pa natin. Yeah, they decided. It is a three-pointer. So Maglupay finally had the say. At least, uh, I do believe, 
the coaches are just friendly with each other. Yeah. Nobody will complain that in the last 20 seconds, uh -huh. somebody will call a timeout or still keep shooting the basketball. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> De La Salle reaching the century mark. 100 to the 86 right. of the UE Red Warriors. Uh -huh. It was an entertaining game, Coach Mike. Yep. And lalo na yung start ng, uh, ng first quarter wherein uh, La Salle really started to stamp themselves and yeah, those yeah, yeah, yeah. quick threes by uh, Tatlo yun, uh, okay, Kevin. Kevin yeah. <laughs> he came at it. It seems like nobody could stop him. Yeah. Inside and outside, he has done his share also when it comes to those no-look passes, nice assist job. He's done almost everything here. There you go. Kevin Kimbao, best player in this ball game, and it's another win for De La Salle. Once again, 186. That's our final score. And congratulations. La Salle will be playing. They'll be back here at the same venue tomorrow. And of course, we'll still have the quadruple. Sunod natin, or ito na, ito na. Ayan, tingnan natin dito. Lasal, hanep talaga. <laughs> Wala pa rin talo. Pero teka lang muna, hindi pa yata na-adjust yun. Five uh, na yun eh. No? Yeah, five na dapat. Five right. na yun para sa Lasal. And over at the other side, five and one naman para sa University of Perpetual. So, mm -hmm. dalawang grupo po yan, UAAP and NCAA. So, that's just about it. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow sa ngalan ng ating mga nakasama rito, Sara Asido, Coach Mike Perez, Benji Santiago. Enjoy the uh, brand new week ahead of all of you. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the ballgames.